settle down, okay? Hello internet friends, Napyet here with a deep dive on hunting cougars in Red Dead 2. I'll show you everything I've learned in detail while trying to achieve the level 6 hunting challenge. This requires you to kill 5 cougars with your bow and then skin them. Not easy since cougars are a rare spawn and once you find them they generally strike pretty fast. You'll want to have improved arrows at the ready since you'll usually only have time for one shot and improved arrows mean that that shot will be a kill shot. The next thing is finding them. As you explore through the game make note of where your character pencils in cougars across the map. I've found three reliable spawns which I will show you in this vid. Big Valley to the south of Pronghorn Ranch, in the mountains to the north of the region called Tall Trees and an area just south of Benedict Point here. Cougars spawn pretty reliably at the these locations. I'll show you that happening, but they're on a 24 hour timer. So we'll be doing a round robin basically, traveling from each of these spawns until we've killed three, then sleeping for at least 24 hours, letting that time pass, and then doing the same again. But before I start, I wanted to mention this to the west of Tumbleweed is the legendary cougar. I'm happy to report this does count towards the five cougars for the challenge. Just make sure you use a bow, make sure you skin, and you will get credit for that one. So that's one down straight away. Wish I'd recorded it to be able to show, but never mind. Anyway, we'll start with the spawn in the mountains of tall trees. This guy is perhaps the easiest to run into since he only appears in this narrow valley here, which doesn't give him very much space to wander. Be careful though, the tight quarters mean he is on you in a flash. I found listening is the best way to get the prior warning of cougars being around. Quite apart from eagle eye and stuff like that, just listen. Make sure you have your improved arrows equipped. Remember that, and you've got to skin the guy to get credit. Next, we're heading to Benedict Point. He can be anywhere between the ridge to the west of this region and the cliffs to the east. You'll notice I wasn't on my horse previously, and I'm not on my horse here. That's why even a level four bonded horse can easily get spooked by a cougar. And even though sometimes you can get lucky and encounter them far away, like I do here, more often than not, they come charging out of nowhere. Spook the horse, you're on the floor, cat food basically, they move so fast. I've already done the challenge so I don't need this hide, but again, don't forget to skin for credit. Okay, north to Big Valley now. This spawn is the hardest to find sometimes since it can range the furthest. I found it all the way down near the river to the south on one occasion and quite far off the road in the trees on either side. So you could keep an eye on your minimap for red dots. But more often than not, they're snakes. And I found that if the red dot is a cougar, it'll generally be running towards you at that point if it's close enough to appear on the minimap. But it's one thing you can be keeping an eye out on this slightly harder spawn. I'd just advise going down the road from pronghorn ranch to the river then if you don't spot it widen the search start going off into the trees on either side of the road just have your wits about you don't be on your horse and be afraid of bushes So what's that? That is Cougar 3 for this video. Worth noting that the trapper is up the hill here, so it's a convenient time to sell off any hides or carcasses you might be carrying. Now we've visited each of the three spawns and killed a cougar at each one. So we know no more are going to appear there for 24 hours, so we need to sleep. Usually can't quite sleep for a full 24 hours, but factoring in travel time will usually mean that the spawn we checked first, which was tall trees, the mountains right. So generally, if we go back to the start now, this guy will be ready to reappear. I just wanted to show you this, however, I would not recommend hunting cougars at night. Eagle eye is very effective at night time. Things actually glow pretty bright so you can see them, but there's that window where eagle eye switches off and I just, I think I just get jittery at night. So if it's at night time, I would recommend waiting a little bit longer until morning. If like me here, you fail and he kills you, don't go back expecting him to be there. Logically, he would be there, right? But he won't be. Uh, you basically, once he spawns, you have the chance to either kill him or he kills you. But if he kills you, 
he's not going to be there if you go straight back. So we just go on to the next spawn. It's easier. I also think that proximity has something to do with it. So theoretically, you could stay here once you've found one cougar spawn and just kill it wait 24 hours, kill it again. You could do that, but I found that if I camp too close to the spawn, sometimes it doesn't reappear. So I like to go out of the region and come back. I think that for the game's logic, that seems to work more reliably. But anyway, getting the drop on this guy again, this never happened to me before. I got killed twice by cougars here, bursting out of the bushes. So I wouldn't say this spawn is the easiest, even though these guys didn't see us we saw them before they saw us it's a rarity i think it's just luck and if you killed the legendary cougar before doing this that's your five cougars but for the sake of completeness i do want to kill five in this video so back up to big valley and it's an opportunity to show you him spawning a little bit off the road here just keep listening scan for tracks use eagle eye See what I mean about them bursting through the bushes? Scary stuff. Anyway, that's five for the vid, and I hope it's five for you. If it isn't, then just persevere. They will eventually appear. Doesn't take too long. To give you an idea, well, how long is this video? It's not a long video, but I had to record for about an hour to get all five of these cougars. So once you know the spawning, you know where they spawn, you know how to manage the game's spawning system, then you can get this done pretty quick. If you want any information about other hunts or anything like that, please let me know. I've been Nap Yet, and thanks for watching. Settle down, okay?